So this is part two to my handbag collection. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Carla and on this channel I share videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, then please subscribe down below. Okay, so this is part two to my handbag collection. I'm gonna jump right into this video, but first I want to share the word of the day. The word of the day is hope. I want you all to remain hopeful. Hope will keep you strong and at peace when things get hard. So please, 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 I know sometimes it's very difficult, especially when the situation we're in is extremely, extremely hard and you just want to give up. I want to tell you right now not to give up and just keep that hope strong. Okay, so let me start sharing these handbags with you. And I do want to put out there that in no way, shape, or form am I bragging when I share these items. Um, this is just handbags and just luxury pieces in general. It's just something I enjoy. It's something I enjoy spending my money on. I work very hard for my money. And this is just an something I really enjoy. You know, there are people out there who enjoy buying cars or whatever the case may be. And it's just because it's something you enjoy doing. It's something that makes you happy. So I want to reiterate that in no way, shape, or form am I bragging. I just want to share these pieces with you because I know there are so many of you out there that enjoy handbags as much as I do. So let's just start with my Chanel jumbo um i know i have this piece on here and it's just to keep it in good shape i have this piece in the caviar leather so that if you don't know it's just the most sustainable it's that leather that it's not like lambskin lambskin is very sensitive so if you bang your bag um, it does get damaged really easily this one is definitely more durable and as you can see here I have it in the silver hardware I do plan on making a whole video on this bag my thoughts the wear and tear um, do I think it's worth the price? This bag right here retails for $6,400. Um, like I said, I have it in the jumbo size. Um, you'll notice that it has all, all of like the felt pieces in here. This is the interior. I have it with the burgundy interior. It's the double flap. So yeah, once again, the Chanel Jumbo. Next up is the YSL Lulu handbag. Um, I love this handbag, guys. This one retails for $1,910. As you can see, I'm hoping you can tell, it's in that beautiful charcoal gray color with that blue hue kind of is what it has um, going on here. I love this handbag. I love that it's the perfect shape. I find that I wear this handbag so much because of the shape of this bag. It's not too big, it's not too small. It fits every single thing that I need in here. This is the interior, it does have two areas right here. It has this zip pocket right here and it does have this in the back. And yeah, I just love, love, love this handbag. If you're considering picking up a YSL handbag or Saint Laurent, um, I would definitely, definitely recommend the Lulu handbag. And this handbag comes in so many colors, white, black, this color, gold, if you wanna play around like a full metallic gold color. Um, it comes in the bigger size. If you find that you want a big size, it comes in the smaller version. This bag is just, I don't know, if you're looking for a YSL bag, just check out the Lulu handbag. But next, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my off-white tote handbag. Um, I'm pretty much here hiding behind this. It's just so big, but this is how it is. Um, it's just this black tote shopping bag looking kind of thing. I don't know if you can see the detailing on it. Um, but yes, I love this bag. Sorry, let me just take, I have a couple, um, this is my Balenciaga pouch, my Gucci pouch. As you can see, 
when I store my handbags, I like tend to put extra handbags in here, but this is the strap for this tote bag right here. It's the classic off-white um, belt strap right here. Off-white is pretty much known for this belt. Since then, it's changed to like blue, pink, but the classic off-white belt is that yellow one right here. So it's on the strap of this bag. And then in the interior, it's literally, I apologize, it's like a mess in here, but it's literally just one open compartment and it's huge. You can fit your laptop in here. You can fit a ton of stuff. So if you're looking for a designer bag, I know some people tend to use the Neverfull, which I have right there, um, as like a bag for school, but you can definitely use this tote bag as well. It's so big. It may not pick up on camera, but it's a really big bag. This one retails for $1,100, I believe it was, that I paid, and it closes right here if you do want to make it smaller it has that magnetic closure next I'm gonna share this piece I know some may not consider it a handbag because it's so tiny but I consider it a handbag because I've pretty much found a way to wear it as a handbag but it's my Jockamoo's little tiny bag piece right here it's supposed to be a wristlet um, it kind of goes like this. This one retails for $250. Like I said, it's supposed to be a wristlet. You can use it as an anklet, which to each its own if that's what you want to wear it as. But it's really, really small in the inside. But if you don't know, micro bags are the thing. It's like the it thing. So I've definitely found a way to turn this into like a micro bag. I found a way to wear it crossbody like this i've found a way to wear it around my waist i found so many ways to wear this bag in that way um if you want to see a video on how i can turn this little wristlet bag into that then let me know in the comment section down below or check out my instagram at carla.simon19 when i do wear my bag like this i will post pictures of it if you just want an idea on how to style this piece but once again this is the Jockamoose little tiny bag and this one retail for $250 okay next I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some pieces from my collection um, and I will say just a quick disclaimer everything that I've shared so far in part one and now part two of this video really isn't all of my handbags it's just too much to pretty much I would be making videos and videos so I wanted to just condense this into handbags in my collection that I pretty much use the most and now I'm going on to my more affordable pieces and I want to share with you guys this Le Parmentier piece right here this bag I've used so much this bag right here retail for $275 I got it on Forcier, I believe is how you pronounce it. I'll leave that link down below or the website down below if you want to check out the Le Parmentier handbags. They are leather handbags. They're, like I said, much more affordable, $275. This can be worn as a top handle. And I can see how with this right here, you could probably mistake it for like Hermes. But it's not really an H. Like, if you take this strap out, you'll notice it's not really an H. It's just, like, the way the strap sits here kind of looks like an H. But I love how this can be used as a top handle. It comes with black straps. So you can strap it up right here on the sides, if you can see. And you can use it as a shoulder bag, cross body. And then in the back, it has these three pieces right here so you take those two straps that you would use to wear top handle I mean I apologize as a shoulder bag and you just put them here and you can use it as a backpack so definitely versatile definitely more affordable for so much that you can do with this bag and this is what the interior looks like it's pretty big if you can tell I just have it with all my stuff in here um, it comes with a zip closure like a back pocket 
um, this little strap that kind of separates it and it's pretty deep like it's a pretty deep bag so if you want a more affordable piece then definitely look into these handbags and I will have that website linked down below Another bag that I really love that's much more affordable is the Kate Spade Cameron Street birdie bag this one retails for $298. I love the shape of this bag. I love how big it is. It does come with a strap. It kind of clips underneath here and then it opens up that way. This is what the interior looks like. Like I said, it does come with a strap, which I do use it that way. It has this back pocket right here. And for the price, I definitely think that you get a bang for your buck. I've used this so much. You can use it kind of like a clutch. It is bigger to use as a clutch, but you definitely can. Like I said, a strap so you can use it on your shoulder, crossbody, so many ways. Um, the Kate Spade Cameron Street Birdie, $298 if you wanna look into this bag. Next we have this Steve Madden bag, which this one cost me $70 and I loved it because I was looking for a white bag but look at how this look it kind of reminded me of the um I want to say it's the Balenciaga city bag that's what I want to say it reminded me of just because you see how it's just you know the city bag is bigger and more like slouchy but I love how it had like the stitching here in gold so that it just adds a little different vibe to this bag, the tassels, the top handle of it. And for $70, it's definitely worth it. You just, you can bring this in a little bit um, and look at how that looks. It does have this awesome, awesome strap. Like if you've seen the Dior saddle bags, they come with this thick strap as well. And this has it. And like I said, for $70, it was very affordable and I've definitely used it and I do plan to continue using this piece. So yeah, the Steve Madden bag and this one was 70 bucks. Next, I have the Anne Klein red bag. I don't know the name of it, but I remembered picking this up. I want to say it was about hmm, maybe like three four years ago um i picked this bag up because i did see a youtuber talking about red bags and how awesome they are especially when it's like a candy apple red and i remember i ran out i was like okay i have to find a candy apple red bag and this was the closest i got to a candy apple red bag this one retails for 70 dollars and it's really not bad for 70 bucks. Um, I will say the only thing I don't like are the straps. Like if they were removable, it would be so much better. But other than that, it's like the perfect size, the perfect size. Um, this is the interior of the bag. It's so perfect, like there's not much to it. I will also say that the bag could have been opened up a little bit, like it's pretty thin, it doesn't open up as much, but I love the simplicity of this bag. Literally, this is all you have on the bag. Loving the color, and then it just says Anne Klein in the back. The last bag I wanna share with you guys is this BCBG handbag. This one was $80, and I remember when I bought it, I was probably, oh, maybe like, five years ago if not longer um i remember i wanted a chanel boy bag so bad and i just could not afford it so i was just shopping around and i ran into this bag and that's when puffs puffs were like the thing then so i ran into this bag and i was like okay i have to get it actually yeah it was four years ago i was like okay this is the closest thing to a Chanel bag that I can purchase right now that I can afford to spend money on right now. So I took my $80 and I gladly purchased this and I love this. This is this is a piece that just brings back memories for me. Like look at it. It's isn't it just a stunning piece? $80 for it. And it's much bigger than the boy bag and 
it's much bigger than a bag that I would use now, but it's definitely, definitely not a bag that I would get rid of. This bag, I wore it. And the color, this for me was like my thing when I was wearing just white shirts and blue jeans. And I don't know, I really, really like this one. I'm not sure if they still sell it. I just wanted to share it with you guys because, you know, if you're out there and you're watching these videos and you're like, I want that, I want that. Like I said, don't give up hope, you know? Don't continue pushing hard to getting the pieces that you want. Whatever it is you want in life, just continue pushing and getting yourself there. And if in the meantime you find something that can kind of just hold you off and not like drive you crazy that, oh my God, I can't get that, oh my God, I can't get that, then pick it up. This bag was that for me. This BCBG bag was that for me. Like it held me off until I could afford my Chanel pieces. Like you just saw, I have a Chanel jumbo, which is another piece I really wanted. And actually off of purchasing this bag, I realized that, I'm not gonna say I don't like this piece, I realized that I didn't really care for the boy bag. I didn't want it anymore, so I went with the jumbo. Um, but if when you run into pieces like that, then try it out. I find that dupes or more affordable pieces to bags is something you can also do to try out a piece before you go out and purchase it, which is something I'm also considering with Coach. I find that, okay, so I started looking at Coach pieces. Um, I saw one because I saw JLo with it and I'm like, oh God. These pieces are really, really nice. So let me just check it out. And also it kind of just helps me to venture out a little bit. So if you want to venture out, that's also a way to do it. I hope that wasn't too much of a message to just relay, to just try different things. Even though it's not like a $5,000, $6,000, $7,000 piece, try it out see if it's something that you want to spend your five to seven thousand dollars on so yes guys that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it please remember to be kind to others be kind to yourself love one another also remember to subscribe down below see you in the next video I, oh, I